welcome back. I get so many questions about the lace. I know it's so many different lace on the market. A lot of you are so confused. And I did a video already explaining the difference between the names of the lace. I will pop that video out because I did that like a month or two ago. More about lace colors in that video. Today's video, I'm going to talk more about the different types of lace when it comes to what's the real HD lace, what's the fake HD lace, and who's just selling you regular lace and calling it HD lace. Ultra fine Swiss lace, that's the other name for it, is the most undetectable lace. It's also called film lace. This is like the lace that they use in movies for actors. The most undetectable lace on the market and it's also the most expensive lace. This is another reason why most companies will dupe it out for something similar. So there are other companies selling HD lace, but it's not the real HD lace. However, that does not mean it's not good lace. It's just not the most undetectable. I'm just going to throw this out there because not every company is trying to rip you guys off. It's a lot of companies that's just going with the trend and they really don't know that what they're selling is not the real thing. I'm going to educate you guys on how to spot out and find the real HD lace. I've been dealing with wigs since 2006. So I am not new to the wig game. I know a lot and I can tell you one thing. The HD Swiss lace is not new. That lace was the first lace that they was using on these wigs and the wigs were so good. As lace wigs became more commercial, they started switching to that French lace. Let me show you guys the lace because I have them here. So this right here is the French lace and this lace is more thick. The reason why I don't like this lace is because it is detectable. You will be able to see it when you apply your wig. The majority of this type of lace to sew is in like a darker color so it never matches my complexion. So when I put it to my skin as you can see, yeah, it's very, very visible and it's more thicker. It's more durable and a lot of companies like working with this because it don't tear as easily. It's not as expensive to make a wig with this. If you ever bought a wig that's synthetic, that's a lace wig, that lace is just not like it's not even this lace. It's a whole nother lace that I don't even know. So the next lace is the lace that is marketed as HD lace, but it's actually not. And I have two of them here. And as you can see, they are a lot more softer in look compared to the regular lace. The regular lace, as you can see, is a lot thicker. And then these two here are the fake HD lace. It is definitely thinner than the regular lace. However, when I apply it to my skin, this one right here is, I think, the light brown color. That's how it looks. Okay, that's the light brown color, but it's still detectable. And then this one right here is the brownish color one. See how you can see it? And you can t definitely tell this one is not my color compared to the last one. Now this right here is the true HD Swiss lace. Okay, best lace on the market and it's the most expensive, um, but it's very soft and look at it. You can just see how invisible and soft this lace is. And when I put it to my skin, like look how it disappears. Do you see how that disappeared? Okay, so now I'm going to do a very close up. I'm going to glue them to the back of my arm so you can see the visibility of how they look when they are applied. So this right here is the regular lace, how it blends. This is the fake HD lace, okay? And this is the one that is my color. Now, as you can see, that one blends in pretty good, but I think this right here would be like what they consider the lie lace that they are selling on the market. It's not HD lace, but as you can see, it's not bad. It's not invisible either. And then we have the one that is a little bit more brownish in color. That is the fake HD lace. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the real HD lace and show you how it blends. I haven't even glued it and it's already invisible. So let me see if I can turn my hand. And look how that melts into the skin. So this is the real HD right here. This is the real HD lace. Now I don't have it here at the ends, but as you can see, look how it is compared to the regular lace and the two fake HD lace. This right here is how HD lace will blend and this is how you detect whether or not you are getting the real deal. When you go to a company's website, the wigs have to say HD lace wig. If it don't say that it's an HD lace wig, then it's most likely just a regular lace. If I was confused on whether a company was selling the real HD lace or not, 
I would ask them to send me a sample. Like these to me are like sample pieces, a piece of the lace so you can actually see it for yourself before you purchase lace. These three, you can definitely see the difference compared to that HD. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a real HD wig. And this one is actually a reinstall from, okay. So this is the wig from AF Sister wig that I did probably over five or six months ago. I just washed it. I have already cut the lace on it. So the knots are bleached and everything. And this is a shorter style. I forgot to mention this. When it comes to the HD lace, a lot of companies do not keep this lace in stock. So it is always most likely going to be a custom order, meaning that you will have to wait a couple of weeks or a few weeks before you actually get it. And the reason being is because the HD lace is very expensive and they don't wanna do a mass production of that lace. If you're fortunate enough, you, you can find a company that's giving high quality hair along with this lace, but those wigs are going to be very, very pricey. This wig is 100% HD lace. And you can just tell because I have not even glued it down and look how well it blends. But this lace is what all the actors wear in movies, all the celebrities wear. I'm going to use the Bedhead Hard Hold Spray. And I did two videos on this spray. If you have not seen those videos, you definitely need to catch up on my videos. You are getting left behind because we're not using the got to be no more. I got, I got, I got my Tell you guys a little something about these hairsprays. This spray along with the got to be spray, what I noticed with hairsprays, like over a few hours, I noticed that the hairsprays tend to get this cast where it makes the lace visible. So if you are into lace wig glues, I will highly recommend if you want the most undetectable blend with the HD lace, instead of layering on so many gels and hairsprays, get you a really good hair glue. All right, style this wig. And I don't know if I'll even want a parting because I just like the way this looks. but I am going to take my scissors. I do have a few uneven parts because this was like a symmetrical bob, I believe. Look at that. Like it looks so good, so very good. And the knots are very small on here, but you can see the separation with my wig cap right here because the lace is so thin. But this looks so very good. And I don't even know if I wanna do a parting or if I do it, it'd be something on the side. I feel like the reinstall is better than the actual <laughs> install that I first did. And I will link all these products and this wig down in the description box. And a lot of you have asked me to do reinstalls of some of the wigs. So I thought this one would be a great wig to do. And like, I'm so happy I did it with this wig because it shows you guys exactly like how it looks after a few months. And it's been, I have to, I'll put it right here how long it's been. Cause I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's been a few months since I did my video. So I am going to take my Heavenly Locks Styling Mousse and it looks like this. Let me show a close up because a lot of you be like, what did you use? So this is the Heavenly Locks Styling Mousse. I've done a detailed video raving about this product because it will lay your lace to the guys, okay? So I'm going to apply this because you see how I have like a lump here and the flat iron is not really flattening it down. I feel like if you can lay flat, flat, it will look so good. So I'm going to apply about this much in my hand and I'm just going to smooth it around this area. God, this is laid to the guys, honey. Making sure any stray hairs are smooth. Where's my, make sure the hairs are laid. Okay. And then I'm going to 
make sure to put a little extra right here because this spot it's not lifting but it's like raised and i want it to lay flat to melt with that skin then i'm going to take my head scarf and tie this down i'm gonna take a dryer to it for about a few minutes and then let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes just depending on how long you can let it sit overnight it'll be even better it's so good while i wait for my hair to set i'm going to show you guys how to cut the lace on a hd wig because i feel like it's very important the way you cut it okay so i have another wig right here that has the true hd lace on it so i'm going to show you on this wig okay so there are two tools that i like to use to cut hd lace the first one is this razor here and find you a really sharp razor you can kind of get as close to the hairline as you possibly can without ruining the wig also i have these shears and these have the rigid edges to them and you have the rigid edges you tend to get that back and forth type of flow which is great because when you melt your lace it's going to look even better you don't really don't have to use these just because the lace is so undetectable that it will not be seen like regular lace or the fake hd lace so you can just go ahead and use a razor and you would just take the razor and slightly touch it to that edge you want to pull it a little bit but not too much that way when you touch with the razor it will just cut and you will notice with the hd lace when you cut it it will kind of shred a little bit like with regular lace what normally happens it is, is it just cuts the hd lace is very thin but you would just continue to cut straight across the lace by gently tapping as close to that hairline all right, let's remove this scarf. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, yes. If this cast is too hard, all you have to do is take your hot comb and break the cast. Break it down, girl. That's all to it. And the Heavenly Locks mousse is very soft. So this is what all the celebrities are wearing. When you can't tell it's their hair or not, this is what they're wearing. And this is what they have been wearing for years now. And if anybody is offering it cheaper, it's not the real deal, okay? It's not the real thing. This looks like my hair. This is an amazing install. the celebrity secret to making their wigs look very natural i will be sure to put everything down in the description box any discounts they will also be down there too along with all the products i used in today's video i hope you guys found this video very very informative if you still are with me after everything give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel and become a part of my precious squad by turning on those post notifications so you'll never miss a video from me and i will see you all back in my next video 